and they are lining them up to do some of the work that you would expect only criminals to do, but they're doing this so that they can they can carry out the overall plan of subjugation, and they're going to send some of these morons into the neighborhoods that are tough and standing up against uh, you know tyranny, and uh, they're going to send them in there flat, flatly to uh, subdue these uh, good folks, yep, to and kill. they're going to have them do it. So the police officers that have been set up to work with these people as liaisons, unofficial of course, uh, don't have to do the work themselves. They can go do some other stuff that they've uh, I've given examples in past weeks, Greg, of, uh, in Ohio, I know of one case to where a uh, East Block uh, Ruski uh, or uh, Eastern European type was brought in, put in at a high level rank in a local law enforcement department and only answered to the chief, let's say, and uh, basically he was given free license to do whatever he wanted. And the first thing they did, they had, uh, he asked, well, who is your target in the uh, drug trade, uh, you know, that you would like to get rid of, you know, and he's an yeah. uh, East Block guy. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, such, 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 and such. He was told, take me there right now. He walked to the front door, pounded on the door, and then kicked it in and went in and killed the drug dealer, Okay. Well, and uh, the you. local police said, "Oh no, you know, <laughs> there were no repercussions to that." Well, and and I know that this has occurred as well uh, in the state of Indiana. Here you've got. I've heard about Indiana as well. That's uh, right, well, Ukrainian or Russian well, I'm type. I'm not even there. tell you the city, but uh, you, you know, go figure. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's uh, but the the point is that hired guns. We're going back to the old west. Hired guns have been brought in from around the world to do the work, regulated, softened up, and then they will be on call to do anything else that comes down the pike uh, that, that's, re that was, that's requiring executive action of some kind uh, that the locals don't feel they can do for fear of uh, retribution or they just simply won't do it. Now, it's there, Hawk. It, 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 it is so nefarious, so deep, it could only have the intellect of the evil ones to be able to pull this off and to get it so that we have a structure that is so immense and so deep and so evil that it will take the combined efforts of all the good people of this country, godly people, and, and just solid citizens saying, that's it, and if, and if war comes to our front door, it will be waged uh, mercilessly against the enemy. Uh, I, I'm, t I'm tired of dealing with people that want to soft-pedal this. I'm tired of people that want to deny it. I'm tired of people who Where's your to... link, Greg? Pardon me? Where's your link to the story? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I, I tell you what, uh, that's fine. They can, they can think that if they want. But the fact is that when this finally arrives at your doorstep... When war comes to town, brother, it's going to be right to you and them right there. That's it. That's it. And, and uh, that's the point where you're going to say, hmm, maybe they were right, and boom, it's too late. And some uh, street so gang or East Block guy or, or uh, you know... Uh, Belgian paratrooper, yeah. mercenary type, is not going to uh, care one whit about uh, killing you and then grabbing your daughter and your wife, are they? No, they're not. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, I heard from a fellow here recently. He said, you know, if, if somebody was coming to your front door to kidnap your two-year-old daughter to be used in a ritual sacrifice, uh, would, you, would you respond in some way? You know, would you fight this or would you just say, no, here she is? Uh, I'm going to tell you, Hawk, I would fight as quick as I could and I'd keep fighting until there wasn't anybody else left to fight against. You better believe it. It's that level. Yes, and that's how quick it'll get to that level. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple things here. I've talked about in the past week how the good guys are being purged at the highest level by the uh, orders of the uh, Joker Tetsutero, and that how they're, you know, uh, have MIB types, men in black, uh, that's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. security types for the no such agency and different people like that that are looking not only at some intelligence agency work computers, but also home computers. They're forbidding them to do this, that, or the other, uh, use any open source, only sources inside that agree with the Sotero plan of the Illuminati uh, puppeteering him uh, are to be allowed, and that if they uh, are found guilty, they're being either cashiered, or retired, fired, or they're being set up on uh, odd charges, or in some cases, they're being, uh, uh, you know, taken out with extreme prejudice. And uh, Steve got a uh, something from uh, uh, a guy that sent uh, that uh, uh, dealing with a, a Navy uh, officer, 
and that basically um, he had voiced his displeasure, and this is a retired U.S. Navy officer, no, excuse me, a chief, a chief petty officer, U.S. Navy, that he had voiced his displeasure with health care bill via letter to Obama, Pelosi, Reed, Boxer, Feinstein. He's recently been told by the Navy brass, Greg, and the Pentagon that if he continues his dissent and disagreement with the administration, that he will either be brought back to active duty and face court-martial, or perhaps, the, the quote, paraphrasing it went something like this, or perhaps we won't even bother with that, we'll just get rid of you some other way. Well, you see, Hawk, I, I think that's one of the reasons that, that I'm in a very small, uh, very, very small number of people that are willing to do this. It, it's not that I'm foolish. It, it's just that I believe in this. And uh, if you'll allow me simply this, we, we still are making available the DVDs for your toolbox to train, and we now have the 380-page uh, manual that goes along with the DVDs uh, in huge detail about what we've talked about through all Excellent. this. is available at the website. That's all I'm going to say. If you need it, you Tell want to Tell me the website it. name again, Greg. Yep, it's the Heartland USA, theheartlandusa.com, and it's there. It's available to you if you want it. Castle Defense Planning, planning 1 and 2, right? 1, 2, and 3. And 3, one, two Excellent. Are, yeah, one, 1 and 2 are the DVDs, uh, 9 hours of DVDs, and 3 is the 380-page manual. Folks, so what we've talked about, the potential crash, the banks, etc., if you heard Gerald Salente also talk about it, he said that his new trans forecast is coming out that the Great War is about to begin. I call it a la the Great uh, Gog Magog War. He also says, basically, ladies and gentlemen, that the people running this country, and he listed Obama, Bush, Clinton, Gates, McChrystal, etc., were basically, this is Gerald Salente saying it, psychopaths or sociopaths. He said that he's also predicting a crash of the economy somewhere between now and September. He said that he thinks they'll try to keep it going to the November elections, but he doesn't think they'll make it. And also he's predicting a 9-11 or larger style terror event to hit the U.S. And see how this dovetails with the information Greg and I are giving you tonight. How there would be a terror attack on the United States and that it would be so horrendous that then the economies, uh, the banks would close. He said this time the banks will close, and not just Wall Street. You won't be able to get any of your money out. And here's what he said specifically about a terror event. Uh, let's see. Let me see my notes right here. Basically, this is what he said. He said if the terror event takes place, we're going to enter into a deep, dark hole that we're never going to come out of. And then you will see an economic terrorism after that that you will not believe as well. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, Greg is telling you true. When these people come to your door, they ain't going to be coming lovingly. Uh, last year I told you about the information that was overheard uh, from an officer, I believe, a general in the Canadian Army, part of NORTHCOM, who was basically paraphrasing it, and that time, Greg, they were talking about a uh, a potential bird flu or, you know, H1N1 flu panic play, uh, pandemic deal, and how they would come to the door and tell people, oh, uh, we'll tell the stupid Americans we have a test to see if they've got the new flu or the new pandemic plague, whatever it is. And if there's any lip... Just like you said, Greg, any resistance, any lip, any uh, you know non-compliance of any the most minute sort, he said they're going to give them two to the head, and then we will take all of their goods out of their house and steal it and put it on the truck. Well, uh, and that was a Canadian. Now I can tell you that yesterday an event occurred in downstate Michigan. Uh, a lady was upstairs in her house. And uh, two police officers, she heard some uh, uh, commotion downstairs. She went downstairs. Two police officers, uniformed police officers, in her house had broken in the door and were looking through her china cabinet. And they claimed that they were there because someone had reported uh, a dead body in the house. These, these men had trespassed on her property, had trespassed in her barn with her animals, and had uh, subdued her dogs with uh, tasers come in broken in the door and were in the house standing in the shining shadow looking for that dead body huh 
They're looking for a dead body. The, the name they gave, there was only one name like it, and it was somebody out in the West Coast, as I recall. But nonetheless, the, the boldness of these police, of then, then because she protested and told them, you know, where, where they could go, and, and it was out the front door. And uh, th there's been a car parked out in the street since. Uh, there, the boldness, the, the arrogance, uh, the, the, the SS mentality of some of these departments and these people in downstate Michigan is just as bad as Nazi Germany. I, I can't, I, I still have trouble believing it, and I asked my source, I said, how is this possible? They said, we still don't know. It was just, that was the pretense. Her husband was gone, uh, he travels, and uh, but this is how she was treated. Now, yeah. they got it firsthand from this gal. Now, having known in, in uh, many, many moons ago uh, Chicago police officers, uh, I know a little bit about, you know, uh, police, uh, B&E, and that kind of stuff in terms of what they used to talk about. But this is a whole different thing. This is a... Not